Welcome back. I am working on the Blue Dome today on this church in Santorini, Greece. I use mixtures of cobalt blue plus white. Yes. I originally, when I did my oil wash sketch on the canvas, I originally washed in the, the dome with ultramarine blue. Now I'm coming back with cobalt blue over that. I mainly just wanted to get that blue color up there <clears throat> when I initially washed in the, the painting. Now I have saved my sky colors in case, because what I'd like to do is go back and soften the, the edge of this dome so it, it goes around. Soft edges recede, they go back, and so by, you'll see how I do that when I come back and soften this back edge of the the dome, it'll, it'll make that feel like it goes, turns around. And that sky is just a little bit wet, so it's, I can still kind of pull that in there. There's reflected light on the back side of this dome, and so I make this a little bit lighter. Then the, they call this the core shadow. And this is darker here as we come around. When I first started, uh, drawing, I had an, started taking some drawing classes. I had an instructor that we had to, with charcoal, draw spheres, balls, and she was very adamant about getting that core shadow and highlight and everything. That's come in handy. Here, I'm going to do this, a medium tone here. I'll come back and do the highlight on the, on the dome. You can see how I soften the transition between the darker and the lighter values. Again, these are all mixtures of cobalt blue plus white. Now, the highlight then, the sun is back here, so the highlight's going to be right in here in this dome. And I'll even come back and make that a little bit lighter. And I don't want that line there. I want to soften that, but I want it darker as it goes back around. Now I'm going to mix a little bit more white into this cobalt blue plus white mixture. So I'm going to my tissue here. You notice I wipe my brush a lot and this is that's one of the secrets to the clean color in my paintings is I keep my, my keep my brush very clean. Come back with some of my light my darker color here. And some of the domes in Greece are, some are almost a glazed appearance, so they're shiny. Others are more of a matte finish. This is going to be one of the ones with more of a glaze, so that highlight stands out more. I have a mirror behind me. I showed it in my blog. And if you would like to go to my blog, it's in, my, in the link in the description below the video. But I use a mirror because that's something that Leonardo da Vinci used. And by looking in the mirror, it switches it from the inventive side of your brain to the analytical side of your brain. So that way you can really judge your paintings. You can critique them almost like you're looking at somebody else's artwork. It reverses the image in your brain and so you see it fresh. And so I, I, as I'm, I work, I continually look back into my, into my mirror. Now I take my clean, I clean out my brush and thinner, wipe it real clean, and I just want to make these transitions a little bit smoother. And just lightly feather that color into the, into the other. Just 
Another that. Okay. Right. Now I'm going to do the edges. I want to take my moss stick. You get that. Have it hanging on the side of my easel. This we got years ago, 1997, 1998, in San Diego at the container store. It's actually about a six foot long stainless steel hook with a handle on the opposite end of the hook. And this is used to take clothes off of a tall clothing rack in stores and stuff. But it's perfect to hook over the top of my easel and use as a mall stick. Now I just take a brush and just smooth that transition between the sky. Just I want to soften this edge just a little bit. You can see that sky is still wet, so that's easy enough to do. This brush is clean. I just want to smooth that edge. Just soften it just a little bit so it makes that dome go back, makes the edge of that dome go back. And see how you can compare the two sides, this side and that side, and look how that hard edge comes forward. This softer edge goes back. Same thing on the back. Clean my brush. Again, you just, I can take some of that sky color and just work it into the edge of that dome. Now that color has darkened, I've made a line on there, so I just take a little bit of my lighter color and work along this edge that's gotten darker. I take a couple of times to do this. I'm going to take a little bit bigger brush. just a little bit more. And I just take some of that color from the sky. See how I dragged that? What I did is I just brought the brush halfway so that I'm dragging both sides of that color. And that helps smooth that. I don't want that little rim light there. I want this cloud dark color to come back over. And there we go. There is our dome. There's one little transition here I want to smooth, want to smooth a little bit more. There we go. I really appreciate you watching my YouTube videos. Please subscribe to my channel. And again, the blog, I show the complete step-by-step -step process on this painting as well as others I do. The link is in the description below. It's also, the address is on the final frame of my YouTube video. I also have the address of my official website. So I, again, I appreciate you watching, traveling to Greece with me today, and you just have a happy, happy day.